Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Ordnance Lab. I'm Sean and a history major with nothing <laughs> useful to add here except for my personal visiting to Beirut pretty much. Oh, and a little bit of historical stuff. I'm Jake, a uh, chemist uh, with a love of organic chemistry and a large amount of experience with explosives, those per both personally and uh, some training in the military. And his, his um, childhood landed him in military school when he started playing with explosives. There's a great story behind that that his mom told me. We were, we were down in Mexico and did the, oh, mijo, telling stories about Jake. But we'll save that one for later on. Well, in case you haven't been living under, or you have been living under a rock, there was a big explosion in Beirut the other day um, where there was a, just a massive detonation down on the port uh, part of the town, which is actually really close to the downtown part. It happened on the same day I was there, ele or 11 years to the day since I was there in Beirut, which is just a really beautiful city. It's tragic what happened there. Um, what we're hoping to do here is we see a lot of mind-boggling dirt that, like, like how did you survive? <laughs> like, like, it disproves Darwinian evolution, some of the comments that people make. Like, seriously, you're like, it was a nuclear bomb, it was a space alien ray laser, or God knows what other kind of stupid stuff, and it's always a conspiracy involving um, your typical litany of folks um, going on. It's mind-boggling stuff. So what we'd like to do is have someone like Jake, who, I don't know, maybe knows more than um, Kyle there on ARFCOM, who has a little bit of fun with some Tannerite kind of thing, um, talking about what maybe actually happened. So I have a lot of experience with explosive. Uh, I mean, I've been doing it since I was about 13 when I first started my own lab. And then I got some training in the military. And, and I've been doing this for quite some time. And one thing I learned from both undergrad and working with explosives, is the more you learn about explosives and, and you know, chemistry and so, for so, and so forth is, you realize that you don't really know that much. And a lot of people online are making a lot of theories, bad conjectures, uh, coming to conclusions. I saw the Hurt Locker, bro. Yeah. Best movie ever. They they set off some Tannerite with their cousin Bubba, and they're like, hey, we're explosive experts now, whatever. It's it's bad. And the problem is, though, is that it creates bad information on the internet, and then people don't verify their, their information, and then it just turns into a hard fact, which uh, we're, we're going to try to dispel that as best we can. Now, I don't know all the facts that's going on over there. It's you know, it's not like you know it, it happened here in Texas where I can just simply go and investigate you know, it, you know, that's it's, it's on the other side of the world, but we, we have clips. So what we're gonna do is, if you haven't seen the clip, here's a quick view of the clip. All right, and so as you can see that, just devastation, what occurred. And Jake kind of touched a little bit ago that we're not here to talk about, like, we can't tell you what happened. We're given our, uh, well, Jake has given his informed opinion on it. And also talking about like what it's not, that it's not a, you know, an alien strike, a nuclear bomb, whatever other wacky conspiracies you hear people talking about. Because unfortunately, these things happen. Accidents happen with explosives. Is You can put as much safe scar as you can. The problem is, though, is that sometimes it happens. Uh, we've had two here in Texas, and there's other ones across the world that revolve around ammonium nitrate. You know, it's a very common fertilizer. It's very stable. It, I mean, I've made it before in lab. We've used it plenty of times in, in, for demolition work. It, you know, for the most intensive purposes, by itself, technically is not an explosive, but under the right conditions, it will blow up, as you can see in the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the video. Uh, I will put my two cents in there. I'm gonna try to be as subjective as I can. There is a little bit of objectivity based upon my bias of experts in ex or handling explosives. But what we're gonna do is see what we can find from these videos to get an idea of what happened. Uh, the idea is to give you a solid foundation of you know what we could see and then go from there all right so let's take a look at this video break it down and uh, we'll uh, finish up wrap up this video with some uh, new plans for coming up let's first take a look at the port with this overhead satellite view we can zoom in to see the warehouse and surrounding area the warehouse in question was storing ammonium nitrate over 2,000 tons worth not exactly a small amount normally this isn't an issue when stored properly but this isn't the case for this instance Ammonium nitrate is a white crystal consisting of an ammonia and nitrate molecule. It is produced in massive quantities globally as it is an effective and cheap fertilizer. Besides its great fertilizer properties, it is also an excellent oxidizer. It is often combined with a fuel such as diesel or carbon dust as ammonium nitrate does not combust by itself. This combination forms a powerful binary explosive. Ideal for blasting as it is low cost, insensitive, and stable. There are two important physical properties of ammonium nitrate to consider. The first is the melting point at 169.6 centigrade. Next is the boiling point at 210 centigrade. This is a major concern as a raging fire can easily achieve these temperatures in a short period of time. As the temperature exceeds the boiling point, ammonium nitrate begins to rapidly decompose exothermically into nitrogen, 
water, oxygen, and different nitrogen-oxygen compounds. With enough heat from a fire, a certain critical amount of ammonium nitrate will explosively decompose, resulting in a detonation. We can see in the video clip that a ton of smoke is bellowing from the warehouse, a solid indicator of a roaring hot fire. As we watch the video, we see a small fireball emerge here, which means that some of the ammonium nitrate possibly combusted with a fuel source and went critical, or something else combusted inside the warehouse due to the fire. It is impossible to say at this point as we don't know exactly what all was stored in the warehouse. A large dark red cloud violently emerges after the fireball which is indicative of nitrogen dioxide gas. This is a byproduct of ammonium nitrate decomposition and detonation. The huge volume of reddish smoke is evidence that a large quantity of ammonium nitrate was decomposing at high temperature. Immediately after the nitrogen dioxide cloud comes a massive shockwave. The vast quantity of ammonium nitrate has detonated creating a huge bomb. From this angle, you can get a good view of the warehouse on fire. All the heat from the fire is trapped by the warehouse and cooking the ammonium nitrate to the point of decomposition. Small flashes of light can be seen near the warehouse, which could be small explosions. Some reports state fireworks were also stored in or near the warehouse. We could be seeing the fireworks cooking off with the heat. It is difficult to say for sure as the smoke is shrouding our view. Eventually we see a large fireball emerge and engulf the warehouse. The signature nitrogen dioxide cloud emerges and then the main detonation blast wave. From what we can determine, the fire got out of control, heated the ammonium nitrate to the point of criticality, and a runaway decomposition resulted in the ammonium nitrate detonating. The blast resulted in a shockwave that measured 3.3 on the Richter scale, destroying buildings in a nearly 2 kilometer radius, killing possibly hundreds and injuring thousands, and a crater 200 meters wide at ground zero. Now, let's summarize what we covered. This has the signs of an ammonium nitrate accidental explosion, similar to the explosions in Galveston and West Texas, where large quantities of ammonium nitrate detonated under similar conditions. Ammonium nitrate is an oxidizer and won't burn by itself, but it will aid the combustion of other materials. It becomes explosive when mixed with a fuel source or if a critical amount is heated sufficiently. The warehouse fire obviously generated enough heat to decompose the ammonium nitrate to the point of detonation. Some of the ammonium nitrate may have inadvertently mixed with a fuel source or other substances combusted, given the different explosions. This culminated to the mass quantity of ammonium nitrate exploding. The improper storage of ammonium nitrate and poor fire response are the most likely major contributing factors for the detonation of the stored ammonium nitrate. Strict safety regulations may seem like an annoyance, but they exist to prevent accidents much like this one. But we can say for a good degree of certainty that this wasn't a tactical strike. <laughs> This wasn't a nuclear explosion, and this wasn't the efforts of a shadowy Illuminati New World Order conspiracy cabal up to no good. So, as you can see from the video, um, you know, it, it's really sad. I, I really feel sorry for the people of Beirut, you know. Um, you know I, I, I love handling explosives, but I have no intent to harm anybody, despite what some people have made comments on there. Like, you guys are causing, Indirect you Indirect know, do-yourself terrorism, I think was the term. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> from that dude. We are explosive professionals. We're licensed. We know what we're doing. We're just doing this because we can. We're not trying to market this. We're not trying to sell anything out of it. We're just trying to have fun with explosives, right? Uh, no different than many other television shows that, you know, fire up some boom and, you know, it finds, it's entertaining. It's fun to watch. It's fun to do. That's why we do it. But we wanted to, to uh, nick this in the bud so that people don't go around thinking that this is a nuclear weapon or something worse, right? Yeah, just... I don't see it. I, I don't see it, all right, you know, I, but I don't, you know, I don't have uh, gr on the ground intel what's going on there, but for what I can see, this is, I mean, an unfortunate accident. Yeah, it's actually, this has occurred uh, multiple times, Jake alluded to that before, you had 2013 in West Texas, there was the fertilizer plant that blew up and wiped out pretty much the whole town, and then in 1949, you have, I believe it's 1949, Texas City, um, there was a Liberty ship dock that had a fire in the hold of nitro, or uh, ammonium nitrate, and that right there cooked off and wiped out a substantial part of the town, sent the anchor flying, flying a, 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 like miles away. And just a massive detonation, similar to what looks like happened there in um, Beirut. And just a devastating effect, especially with what's going on there. They were in the middle of hyperinflation, um, the serious economic concerns. And plus, when you've got the Syrian conflict going on next door, and it's just not a really, <laughs> really great part of the world to be in, even though it's such a beautiful city. Um, I always wanted to go back, but I will probably won't be going back for quite a while. So, but moving on to what we're going to be doing next, Jake can talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So what we want to do is demonstrate 
how you know what, what you know like normally we store we, we have ammonium nitrate we have tons of it sometimes but we're gonna recreate a condition of how this happened all right so like i said ammonium nitrate very stable you know very safe it doesn't categorize as an explosive you know it falls under the yeah, it's 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 literally chemical. it's a chemical yeah it, it, it's a fertilizer i mean farmers use it all the time if you you know chances are some of the food you eat was fertilized with ammonium nitrate because it's rich in nitrogen but under the right conditions, it will detonate. So what we're gonna do is we managed to score a good amount of ammonium nitrate. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go over, out to- Over, well over hundred pounds we're gonna be using. For this. Yeah, some, a, a serious amount of boom. More than what our traditional range can handle. So we yeah. had to schedule a special blast for this. Uh, we managed to reach out to a friend of ours who uh, graciously uh, let us use his, or he wanna let us use his property to do this. Um, but we're going to basically do the best we can to create a simulacrum of this blast. Simulacrum, it, that's a $5 word right there. Yeah, so if you're about to take the SAT kids, there you go, simulacrum. But this is, I, I cannot stress this enough, this is a very dangerous situation, do, you know, and I wanna stress that, that what we're doing here is for demonstrated purposes, not and information, entertainment, don't recreate what we're doing here. It's for you guys to watch, not to try and do. Uh, and uh, also, yeah, I do wanna address, I do, I do stutter. I do apologize, I know some of you guys are uh, made the comment of it, I'm not a professional speaker, not an actor. I'm a chemist. Uh, I do the videography. I do other stuff. We're, you know, we're short, you know, we're, not, we're a small operation here. And I, there's only so much. I do not like being on camera. I don't. I really hate being on camera. I hate being in photos. Uh, he's, I've, got, I've got some pictures that I took it from his childhood home, though, that would be great to put on here. And uh, this mom going, Mijo! So I love your mom. Uh, my Mexican moms, man. Uh, he is the yeah. face of the operation more because, you know, he's very Jim Carrey-esque. Yeah, it's part of the conspiracy that, you know, uh, it's part of that on top of the Anderson conspiracy people are spreading. Um, you know, y'all found me out on that one. So we got a, a whole series of explosions coming up. Uh, we, you know, we had a bit of a delay because of uh, the current pandemic, and I do apologize. Uh, we're working on that, but we're trudging forward. And when this popped up, we wanted to do this to sort of, uh, you know, w w address that as the moment because, you know, it's, 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 it's current, it's relevant, and we also want to dispel any- put a yeah. stop to like some of the, just the dirt going around to the conspiracy crap and everything else. So, right. all right, well, we got to blow some stuff. We're gonna go blow up in the future. We're, we could yammer here all day long about stuff. We got that coming up. We're gonna go down there, blow some things up. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, we got more booms and bangs coming up, and we're going to hopefully do this in the next couple of days. We're just waiting on, on the explosives to come in. As soon as we get that filmed, we'll get it uh, for y'all. And so make sure to subscribe and like if y'all enjoyed the video. Oh, and, and hit notifications because for some reason, some people are like, oh, you put a new video out. Like, we've had numerous videos out. It's just that for some reason, you know, the yeah. algorithm just you know, sometimes in our favor, sometimes it's not. If you like seeing stuff, we have our Patreon, Venmo, and now we also accept Bitcoin. For Bitcoin stuff. and Litecoin. We're going to put the uh, address and, and the wallet uh, in the description. So if you want to use the crypto version, I'm a big fan of crypto. I think it's really cool. Uh, do so. Uh, we, we appreciate it. And if, you want, if you have a passion project that you want us to do with explosives, build a certain weapon or whatever, you want to finance it, man, we will do pretty much whatever you want us to do um, for that because we need all the help we can get. So, all right. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed the video and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.